Inns of Court. Views 2,657,308. Inns of Court. London's four Inns of Court, Gray's Inn, Lincoln's Inn, the Inner Temple, and the Middle Temple, provided legal education to young men beginning in the 1300s. The inns also became centres of intellectual and social activity in Renaissance England. Many of the men who attended them did not become practising lawyers, but they used the inns as a way to make connections with members of high society. Beginning in the late 1400s, the inns of court became part of the growing humanist asterisk movement. As in France and Italy, the lawyers of Renaissance England contributed to the growing interest in ancient cultures and history. By bringing together large numbers of students in the lively city of London, the inns supported scholarship, creative writing, and patronage asterisk of the arts and learning. The inns of court also had a great impact on England's poetry and drama during the Renaissance. Life at the inns included a steady diet of plays, dancing, and music. Many of England's finest Renaissance authors, including the poet John Donne and the playwright John Ford, attended the inns of court. William Shakespeare's plays The Comedy of Errors and Twelfth Night were also performed at the inns. See Asterisk patronage Renaissance, an Inns of Court Views 1 million for Inns of Court Legal institutions of medieval origin situated in London and responsible for the education of barristers. By the 14th centre the bar was organised, like the guilds, as an association of the members of the Inns of Court. They were first used as accommodation and were a cross between the college, the club, and the trade union. Originally around 20 inns were known to have existed of which only four survive, Inner Temple, Middle Temple, Gray's Inn, and Lincoln's Inn. The temple was the London residence of the Knights Templar. Until their dissolution and was let to lawyers in the mid-14th cent Gray's Inn was formerly the townhouse of the Lords Gray of Wilton and Lincoln's Inn is thought to have belonged to Henry de Lacy, Earl of Lincoln. In the 15th centre the inns gradually assumed responsibility for the education of students and today anyone wishing to become a barrister must first join one of the inns. They are unincorporated bodies controlled by their senior members known as masters of the bench or benches. When students are considered qualified for the profession they are called to the bar by their inn and entitled to practice in the higher courts of law. Richard A. Smith Smith. The Oxford Companion to British History John Cannon. Views 3 million 3. Inns of Court. Organisations that provide preparatory education for English law students in order to teach them to practice in court. Inns of Court were founded in the beginning of the 14th century. Membership in an inn is tantamount to membership in an integrated bar association in the United States. Inns of court have a common council of legal education, which gives lectures and holds examinations. Currently, inns have the exclusive authority to confer the degree of barrister at law, a prerequisite to practice as an advocate or counsel in the superior courts in England. West's Encyclopedia of American Law Views 2 million Inns of court for legal societies in London, Lincoln's Inn, Inner Temple, Middle Temple, and Gray's Inn. They date from the 13th century, and have the exclusive right to admit persons to practice as barristers in English courts. World Encyclopedia More from encyclopedia.com Courts, courts Early modern law courts were multifunctional institutions whose reach extended far beyond the judicial branch of government. Throughout Europe Court Court a judicial tribunal established to administer justice. An entity in the government to which the administration of justice is delegated. In a BR. Propylium, Propylium, Propylon, 
PL Propylia, Propylia. Imposing monumental entrance gateway leading to a temple, sacred court, or enclosure, such as a bat. Ecclesiastical courts. Ecclesiastical courts have existed alongside secular courts from the Norman conquest onwards, though their activities were much diminished after the Court of Arches, Arches, Court of the Court of Arches is the Ecclesiastical Court of Appeal for the Ecclesiastical Province of Canterbury. From as early as the end of Temple, Texas. Temple our word temple comes from the Latin templum, meaning any space demarcated as sacred even a part of the sky. A temple is the place for housing.